Today, I have eight tips I think are really important and helpful to know when building in Power World. Whether you're building your base or a barn for your pals, these eight tips are going to save you a ton of heartache and time, so let's jump right in. So starting out with the most basic tip of all is making sure that when you pick a build, you choose an area that has completely flat ground. So I have this area here that I really love. I'll actually show you where this is on the map. It's right here, but I really recommend you building on flat ground because if not, you're going to have trouble placing structures and things like that down. Now let's talk about building structures. There are a lot of really great tips here that I want you to know. Now to start when you're building, you can build continuously. So what I mean by that is let's put down this wooden structure here. So instead of placing one like this, and then having to go back into your menu to place another one, you can use build continuously, which it actually tells you where to do it. You can actually see it on the screen right here, but I know I missed it and I've been watching a lot of other streamers who have missed this as well, but you can hold Y or you can right click if you're on PC and build continuously. So you never have to really come out of this menu. You can just continue to place um, these pieces down without having to go back into the build menu, which is really nice. I've also been seeing a couple of people make the same mistake, but people are breaking down their foundations using like an ax or some other weapon. And that's really not the best idea. And there's a much easier way to do it. Let me show you. If you go back into your build menu, you can see you can enter into disassembly mode, which is clicking RS on your Xbox controller or pressing C on PC. Once you're in disassembly mode, you can just walk right up and press X to disassemble everything very easily and you get all of your resources back, which is what you want. All right, so we all know that placing roofs in the game is really not the easiest thing to do. I wish it was a little bit easier and hopefully they'll make an update in the future. However, I can tell you that I learned this tip from Console Kato here on YouTube and I would highly recommend you guys check out her channel. She has some great Power World videos, but uh, all credit to Kato for this tip and I just wanted to share it because I think everyone should know. If you click the slanted roof, uh, this is specifically important if you wanna place slanted roofs, you can place one down here now, in order to make a slanted roof, you are gonna need these little wooden triangles. I'm gonna place one down right here. So if you wanna easily place roofs, instead of climbing the side of the wall or trying to get it to snap from the ground, you can just walk up the roof and then you can place it really easily just like this. See? So it makes it super easy, or I wouldn't say super easy, but much easier to place roofs. And it was a really helpful tip to know. So thank you again to Kato for the tip. It's super helpful. So if you're a beginner and just starting out, your house is more likely to be made completely out of wood, just like mine. I personally really love the wood, but here's the problem. If you have raids turned on, these raids will come to your base. And if they have fire pals, they will set your entire base on fire and it will burn to the ground. So I'm just saying either turn off raids or be prepared for a raid when it's coming and intercept it before it gets to your base because I've seen this happen to multiple creators at this point and although it is hilarious it's also devastating when they completely lose their base. Now another useful tip to know is when you're building you can build into structures like these cliff walls so you can take a wooden foundation and place it like that and also add some stairs to it and I really really love how my house came out. I wish there was something to kind of push up underneath the legs here. But just in general, I think that this looks great. And I um, just wanted everybody to know that you can build into structures, which could be great for strategy purposes or aesthetic purposes, whichever one is best for you. So here's another example of how I built into the cliff wall on this side. I kind of. A few moments later. I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> So here's another example of a platform I built into the side of this cliff. You can kind of just run down here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area down here, but I just wanted to show you another example of how I've been doing it. So another really important tip I want y'all to know, because I wish I knew this, um, when you're placing down these ivy wall decorations, you want to make sure you place them exactly where you want them, because once they are placed, you can't disassemble them. I cannot, if somebody else knows a way to get them off of the wall, please let me know in the comments below. But as I can tell right now, you have to completely disassemble the wall to remove the ivy. So I have this one placed right here and I'm not exactly in love with how it looks, but I'm kind of stuck with it unless I want to break down these structures, which I don't feel like doing. So just keep that in mind when you're placing ivy. All right now, another really great build tip, especially if you're into making an aesthetic base or something kind of more on the cozy side or just building in general, add decorations to like tables and chairs and things like that. So for example, this potted house plant can be put on stools and benches, tables, boxes, all kinds of different stuff, um, just like this table 
tabletop houseplant. So when you're decorating and you want to kind of add some clutter around, you can do so by using different decorative items like these. You can see sometimes you can't really get it to place where you want it to very easily. I found that sometimes by just jumping up and just hitting the button at the right time, like so, you can get it to place down. Or if you climb up on a wall somewhere near where you've placed something that you want to put an object on top of, you can kind of just, you know, finesse it a little bit and place it on top. So you have to be, you have to get some type of higher ground if you want to be able to place some of these um, plants down. And if you're really feeling decorative and just want floating plants hanging around, you can just delete the stool before you build the other item and it'll just stay floating like so. This makes for the perfect little decoration next to a bed or a table, you know, just to make things look aesthetic. And we love that. I just have to say building in Power World is such a joy. I really do love it so much. And I'm so excited to continue to unlock different items to continue building, decorating and evolving in this game. And I hope these tips were super helpful. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, you can check out more Power World videos right here on the screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.